be smoking some Oasis cigarettes tonight. I'm gonna open up one of the packs. These date to uh, late, uh, mid 50s to the early 60s. These is the er oldest one, oldest pack I got. I'm hoping they're okay. I have never opened it. Uh, we'll find out. Here we go. This is like breaking into a time vault here. Seal looks good. Real pretty. So what are your thoughts on the, uh, the Big O? I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Looks pretty fresh so far. I haven't pulled one out yet. Have you ever smoked one back in the day? No, but I knew a lot of people that did. Rod Serling smoked always. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that looks nice. looks nice. Yeah, that looks really nice, y'all. Big O. See the Big O? Got the Big O on it. Have you smelt it? The... I can smell a little bit of a... These are really, really fresh. I smell like the end, like you can smell the... It's aged. See what we got here. Hope my lighter work. There we go. Got my Oasis lighter. Pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's smoking the 1950s. This stuff tastes really good. It's classic, man. It's really good tobacco. Smoking the O. Man, I feel like I'd step back in time. It's probably 1950, uh, probably 56, 57 cigarette. I know what all those guys are all grinning when they smoke vintage stuff like this. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you this, it's strong. There's no bite to it. Oh, it's uh, really rich. Yeah, it's rich. Yeah. And the menthol is a little more deeper. Uh, it's not that, it's that crap they got now. It's really, uh, it's, in, it's in the tobacco. Oh, yeah. It's, I think they said it's misted. They missed the tobacco with the menthol. Probably a lot healthier than what's on the market nowadays. Uh, it's got a little kick to it. I'm impressed. Really good seal on that box. Beautiful box. I'll get through with this. I'll walk up to the cameras and do a close-up of the box. I'm going to save these for some special occasions. These are delicious. Be great for after the nukes fall. You can just get you a bunch of liquor and sit in your fallout shelter and smoke these and whistle Dixie. Oh. Correction, we could whistle, uh, look, be a lady tonight. That would be good. Too many of these left in the world. Well, I'd like to buy some more if I can find them. <clears throat> Found a lot of these in the fallout shelter, hidden in little little storage boxes. Guess old Papa like, like to have a back stock of cigarettes and lighters. Did he smoke much of these? That's some strong tobacco. Um, I'm gonna have to say he, he got into pipes and cigars later in life. I like when, pipes. When he was younger, he uh, he'd smoke uh, cigarettes. How would you say this compares to a Pall Mall Pall Mall? Some people say it differently. Well, I love Pall Malls, Pall Malls. Uh, I never got to experience Oasis. Uh, you know, just secondhand smoke as a child, but I know they were popular among the more athletic people that like to go to the beaches and sailboats and jet boats and all that fun stuff. They like to look cool with a nice menthol on their hand. Probably gentry. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the country club people. It's 
a surprisingly pretty good smoke and it's got a little bit of a kick to it because I'm already feeling it and it's flossing in my brain with nicotine. That's ancient 1950s nicotine. It is really good. Let's just see it one more time. This is the real deal now. That's the Oasis cigarette. 1950s Oasis. There you go. So big O. Everybody says, Glenn, smoke a big O. We want to see you smoke a big O. Well, I smoked a big O. I might smoke some more. But I'm going to try to save them because what is, all I've got is one, two, three, four, five packs. There's not too many left. No. Unless you're lucky to find some in a fallout shelter or some old recluse dies and they have them squirted away in their sock drop, uh, their drawer or something. Thank you, by the way, for letting me join a smoke with you. Well, partake this in this once-in-a-lifetime once opportunity thing. here. Great to have you on the channel as well as me. Thank you. It's, it's a good collaboration here. Collab video we got going on. Yeah. I'm going to stop it before it gets to the O because I want to save this butt. Put it in a shrine somewhere, you know. Show you all this pretty box. To be honest, I'm not much of a uh, cigarette smoker. Even when smoking a Pall Mall or Pale Mill, right after one or two, like pretty I'm still set. I'm set. But this one, I could probably smoke Menthol the whole box. Mist. That was that was good. Menthol mist. <clears throat> Pretty box. Look at that foil. Down, down two of them now. We got some more to save for. Maybe like New Year's or a special occasion. That turned out really good. I like that. This is the cigarette butt. Cigarette Good butt. Art on this match match box here. Cigarette butt as I put it out. Big O. Smoke the big O. Oasis. I haven't Oasis. seen the uh, advertisements for these 1950s yeah, cool. smokes. They're, they're one of a kind. Smoke the big O, as they say. This is the earlier box, which is kind of plain, and the later boxes they put the put the palm trees and stuff on. Later box, early box. This is the 1960s. This is the 1950s.